Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Classic Blues Solo of the Month for July and August 2016. By request, we're going to break down the solo from Guitar Slim's Letter to My Girlfriend. This is a, a great solo. He's played it in the key of A flat. So we're going to put a capo on the 4th fret so we can play in the 1st position E. And Guitar Slim, like Gatemouth Brown and Johnny Guitar Watson, used that capo all over the fretboard so he could play in any key but still be in that open or first position E so he could use the open strings. And so, let's take the song, we'll go from the, just take the solo phrase by phrase. I'm not sure if I know it well enough to play it all the way through, so what I'm going to do is teach it phrase by phrase and then at the end we'll give it a whirl and see if we can get through it. So starting out, if you're playing for the first time in Guitar Slim style, you've got to think of this open E chord, and the chord itself, first position E. My first finger is on the fifth fret of the third string, and my second finger is on the sixth fret of the fifth fourth, and fourth string. And that's an E shape. Now we're not going to play any chords in this really, but what we are going to do is play licks based on that chord. So. Especially those kinds of licks with the open strings involved. That's something you can only play in that first position E. So the song, the solo, starts out like this. I'm just going to play the first phrase for you. That's the first one. One more time. So he starts out, he's going to slide from the 8th to the ninth frets on the 2nd string, and then he's going to also, when he gets to the ninth fret, he's going to get the open 1st string. So it's, and then to the 7th fret of the 1st string, and then open. That's the first little kickoff phrase that he uses. And you can use whatever fingers you want. It's probably easiest to use the ring finger here first finger there, however you want to do it. I sometimes use the second finger, just for whatever. But anyway, that's the first leg. Play it slowly again. I can't tell if he sounds like he's sliding in from the eighth fret. And then he goes back to this leg. So the whole thing. plays this, when he wraps it up, he's going to slide from the 9th fret to the 7th fret, and then off the fretboard. At least that's what I'm pretty sure he's doing. So the whole first part of the solo, that's the first part, and he goes, open 2nd string, 6th fret of the 2nd string, open 1st string, for third, sorry, got to think in terms of no capo. Seventh fret, seventh fret of the first string. So the whole thing so far. Open first string, and then back to that leg with the smear from the ninth to the seventh. That's really important if you want to get that guitar slim sound. So this first. Part, one more time. Get that slide in there. One more. That's the first part of the solo. They did something very similar, but he kicks it off a little differently. I can't tell exactly what he's doing here, but I think he's doing something like that. This. that off on the 6th fret of the 2nd string, open, back to the 6th fret of the 2nd string, open 1st string, and then 7th fret with a slight bend on the 1st string, so the whole thing, so it's open. 
sure exactly what he's doing there, but it's something like that. So the whole thing. And then that again. So let's do the whole solo slowly up to that point. something a little different with differently I'm not playing that exactly like he plays it that's pretty hard to play but that I think is the idea so so let me try to break that down I think he's going open second and first strings and then to the seventh fret of this third second string so it's open first and second strings third or seventh fret of the seventh seventh fret of the second string something like that so and then this little thing so, sounds to me like he's sliding so we'd be sliding from the ninth fret to the sixth fret or the eighth fret to the sixth fret and then off open and then to the sixth fret of the fourth string and then open third string so the whole thing that's what I'm hearing and that slide it's hard on the fingers. That takes some, some practice, but it sounds to me like he's really smearing that. Like that. So the rest of the leg. He gets another note in there. I'm not sure what it is. I'm using the seventh fret of the second string. Might be something else, but for me that works and that's what I'm, I'm hearing right now. He does that same lick again. So the whole thing. Seventh fret open, and then smearing open third string. So let's play that whole phrase in there. This is probably the part that I have the most trouble figuring out. Or it could be. Either one of those kinds of works if you use it right. And then he plays something like this. So he's going to go 7th fret, little bend on the 1st string, open, and he's going to play this leg, but he plays it a little differently. He's sliding on the 2nd string, hitting the open 1st string, almost like one of those Chuck Berry or T-Bone Walker hops, so it's and then he's going. One more time. And then another one of those slides. So the whole next phrase, this is another kind of a tough one. And you listen to this guitar slim stuff and it sounds so easy. It's really not. It's a lot of, a lot of subtle, difficult parts in here. So it's... Something along those lines. And then he's going to do this smear from the 16th fret, 12, 15, 14, 16th fret of the first string. And it sounds, you know, he's playing so loud, he's smearing. And then he lets go and gets that open first string to ring out just a little bit. It's hard, you hear it on the recording. You hear, I'm not sure exactly how he's doing that or what he's doing. It's hard, kind of hard to do. So if you just smear from the 16th fret of the first string, that's, that'll get you close to that. I'm not good enough to play that. I haven't practiced it enough. Something like that. It pulls off. It 
the end to get that string to sound. He doesn't pick it or play it. So he does the smear. And then he does this. So he's going 7th fret, open on the 1st string. Same thing on the 2nd string. Then he does an abbreviated version of this lick we've done before. He smears from the 9th to the 6th, or the 8th to the 6th, and then open off it. He doesn't go to that string at all. Like that. So it's... Something like that. And that's what he... He plays there. Now, I don't know if I can remember to go back and play the whole solo so far, but that's another kind of a tough leg. And then he does something like this. And this is just kind of that same thing. So, 7th fret, 1st string open. Same thing on the 2nd string. He does this. Sounds like a slide from the from the sixth fret to the eighth fret on the third string with the open second string. Then he picks it again, one, two. Like that. So the whole lick. And then he does this second or sixth fret of the third string hammer on to the 5th fret, and then twice on the 6th fret of the 4th string. So that whole lick. And we're getting toward the end. One more time. And then he wraps it up with that. So I'm hammering on to the 5th fret of the 3rd string, open 2nd string, 6th fret of the 2nd string, open 1st string, 7th fret, open on the 1st string, 7th fret, open on the 1st string, 7th fret of the 2nd string with a little bend, and then twice on the 2nd string open. So the whole lick. And that wraps up the solo. So let me try to walk through the whole thing. Probably going to screw this up because I'm trying to memorize this. I can't read it off the tab and teach it at the same time. So let's see if I've got it memorized. We'll walk through it slowly. So this is the beginning to the end. thing to do is get the original tune, use my tab, listen to it, use this lesson, and with using all that stuff you can put it all together. So there is the solo of the month by request. I had a couple requests for more Guitar Slim stuff, and I will try to learn that and get some lessons out for you. But this is a good start. A lot of these legs, you hear those in, in most every Guitar Slim song in one form or another, and these melodic things. typical Guitar Slim stuff. So listening to the song can help you unlock a lot of his solos, and especially if you know now that he used a capo. So when you listen to the recordings, try to figure out what key it's in, put the capo in the right spot, and then you're playing out of that first position E. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. hope this lesson was, was helpful, and I'll be back again in a couple months. Remember, if you have requests for certain songs, let me know. I've got kind of a backlog right now, but give me your requests. I'll put them on the list, and eventually I'll get to them. Usually in the order that I receive them, sometimes I do the ones that I know first, so I can do it quicker. We'll see.
Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.